Hello and welcome to another episode of Hosk CRM Dev. Um, today we're going to look at a tool from uh, Tangai, the CRM tool guy, as I call him. <laughs> do, do people pronounce his name Tangai? Probably not in France. Player Tangai. No. <laughs> Awful. Right. Anyway, Tangai has got <laughs> a uh, a new tool out, and when Tangai has a new tool, it's time to sit up and listen and to see what new toys he has given us in his excellent XRM toolbox. Um, basically, if you've not used this before or haven't downloaded it, get a grip, man. This is a uh, basically it is a toolbox. It is about 10 billion tools in one uh, and even now he's getting other people involved and uh, making tools in there but we're today we're just going to look at one of them uh, the, the newest one and I hopefully I will go through others because uh, it's just got lots of good stuff in and will save you loads of time um, so this is his blog subscribe to that um, he's a an MVP uh, well worthy of that, as he's created loads of uh, tools and saved me hours, if not days, of uh, time. He's got a new one, it's called the Synchronous Events Execution Order Editor. He, he's, he's good at making tools, rubbish at giving them sexy uh, titles. Uh, so you can go here, basically, when you've got... Uh, CRM plugins or workflows, they uh, you can give them a rank. Which, if you have um, entities like account, and you can have like a number of entities on the create, uh, and a number on the sort of uh, pre, validate, pre and post, and you may have a number of them running, and you can order them in rank. And this is basically a tool to to look at the order. And sort of change them on the using the tool, uh, and it's kind of easy, quick way to do that. And so, if you work on a project with lots of plugins firing, sort of on the account create post operation, then you can use this to sort of uh, schedule them uh, or rank them which ones you want to run first. It might be important that some run before others. Um, and it's, this is a good way to do that, and also it's a good way just to see what plugins you've got uh, firing. So you go here and then the tool is available free of charge on CodePlex. Um, you can see here this is all of the tools he's got within the tool, the one toolbox and so you've got lots and lots I mean, so you come here, I would follow it just so that you get uh, updates of when he adds new tools. And I mean, if you, I would subscribe to his blog because he gives a bit of extra information on uh, new tools being added. And then uh, click this download button, takes to the downloads. And then from here, you click this, the Clicking this will download it for you. And it will just download it there. So I've basically done that and put it in here. So it'll come as a zip, you unzip it, and then basically you can see all of the uh, all these DLLs are all the separate tools, and basically the the application is a kind of way to access all those. I get this odd error, but it still works. It still works, um, so I'm happy to live with that. What you then need to do is uh, manage your connections. Uh, I've added, so you would go new connection, and my is a CRM trial, um, so I've given it a name. Now this is a the tricky one here is that don't be tempted, well, in my case with Serum Trial, don't be tempted to use Serum Online, as I thought I was using. Uh, 
click use the office when I tried to online it didn't connect for some reason um, so you just need to use office 365 um, and then I'm using the English version find my CRM yeah so I'm using here this is how you work out what uh, CRM you're using is after your sort of organization name you get this part here so I know I'm a CRM4 I think that's the UK um, they're different different, different uh, parts here for different parts of the world so just go to CRM and see what you've got there basically to work that out um, and then so you select that and because it knows it's CRM online it basically doesn't worry about these it knows their kind of default values and then it doesn't need a domain because it's CRM online and so you just put this in you put your password in this will then uh, allow you the get orgs button will be uh, enabled you can press this and you can select your organization and you press OK so now you've got your connection you can connect to CRM and this world's here now if you've never used um, the tool before it is uh, well worth basically just clicking on these to see what to see what they are see what they do have a play around with them there's a bunch of you look at these and you think oh that's useful this I used to really love uh, just a, a quick sitemap editor you can still use that one in serum they, they were they did work with serum 2011 and basically because serum 2000, 2013 is very similar they all work still um, so this is the one we're going to look at today now because um, it's we want to see the order of things we are going to I'm into serum um, Visual Studio here I'm just going to add another plugin just so we can see um, the ordering how it works uh, basically I'm going to create the same as the one I've got here um, that's a pre-operation it's an update in fact I'm going to make it the same so we had it kicking off on account rating um, so you can see it's got the same name so I'm a, I want to create a different class because I've already got that class there so I don't know whether it overwrite it but I don't want to do that so I'm just going to create a different class so basically what has happened here is that when this plugin gets called it will call update 2 and the execution order is here so now I've got two I'm going to create the execution order to two here so that one will fire first and one will fire second. I'm not actually going to run anything. Uh, so it's updating my register file. Yep, that's fine. Fine with me. So you can build that. And then we're going to deploy it. So you can see here this is whirring away. Deploying my new plugin and it's not I'm not actually got any code I just want to show you the fact that you can see the um, you can see and edit them using the new tool so here we go it's updated my uh, new plugin to pre-account and it's uh, that's the name that's the class it's referring to so we can see now if we refresh this um, we've got my two two plugins and so if you wanted to change the order here you could see here we, we know we've got two but we don't know we can't see if we've got any uh, workflows also but here's the account step one that's got execute
execution order of one. This has one of two. So we can see that there. So if we go back to the tool, load events. So this goes to the, me the SDK messages, which is basically these. And here you can see all of the ones you've got. And you'll notice actually that um, activity feeds, which kind of basically the ones Microsoft have created, they've got these. So they've got these plugins being uh, triggered all the time. And they haven't got any execution orders. I don't know what whether they run in order or not. So anyway, here account. This is the workflow I did in one of the previous um, videos. So this is shown here. You can see it's slightly different. It hasn't got a, a message associated with it. And then update, pre-operation. And we can see we've got our two update ones here. So we can edit them here. Right, okay, so it's weird actually. I can see that in um, here, this hasn't updated in the CRM developer uh, toolkit, but when I go to the uh, SDK message processing on the solution, I can see that I've changed the order so that update account is moved to two and uh, the other one's changed to one, and that's what I changed here. So I can see that the changes have been applied. Um, so you'd have to watch out, actually, if you use the um, toolkit, that it won't have updated this. It won't have updated this um, file. So if I deployed this again, it would basically reverse them back to what they originally were, which was... Uh, two was second and that was one so maybe watch out for that um, but there you go it's just a sort of quick tool to help you see what you've got uh, running and uh, also it's got workflows in uh, which is in interesting if you had them being uh, running on the update or create and you can also see what is happening here what uh, CRM ones have got they've got created See, so basically it's all activity feeds uh, apart from our two ones there. So that's useful, a useful, another useful tool from Tangai. Um, now, just to finish off, I don't want this update too. So I'm just going to show you how to delete a plugin. And you can see that the CRM toolkit is very useful because it updates this file. So this is our kind of deployment file, basically, kind of instructions what to deploy. And you delete one, you delete one in here. It removes that from the CRM, the register file, CRM register. So which means every time you deploy this package, it'll deploy what's in here. All right. So there we go. Another tool from Tool Guy. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, so here, if you've had enough of this, actually, whilst we're here, let you can see that when you click on these, it'll open the tool in a separate tab. Uh, when you're finished, you can either close all the tabs using this one, or they have kind of X's and stuff like that. So we close all, we've finished, and you're just back to here.